Hey viewers, today we will be taking a look at what a nuclear meltdown is. The nuclear meltdown is the main concern when it comes to the operation of a nuclear power plant. Simply put, a meltdown is when the core, which means the uranium, becomes so hot it melts and eventually evaporates. So how do we get a meltdown in a nuclear power plant? As you can see in one of my other videos, a nuclear power plant uses an intricate cooling system to make sure the reactor core doesn't overheat. This system can, however, be disrupted in two ways. One, the river water is no longer capable of cooling down the steam, meaning that all the water in the reactor turns to steam, which cannot cool the core. Or two, the closed system has a leak, making that there is no longer any water in the closed system to cool the core. As should be clear, both situations result in the same thing. The core doesn't get cooled anymore. Even with the control rods in full shutdown position, the rods will still generate enough energy to overheat if they aren't cooled. The temperature will rise very rapidly because of this, and at 1132 degrees Celsius, the uranium will melt. Since the reaction is completely uncontrolled at this point, the temperature will keep rising, and at 4131 degrees Celsius, the uranium will start to boil and evaporate into the air. Assuming the reactor is breached at this point, which is a fair assumption since the system isn't designed for these extreme temperatures, the uranium will contaminate a huge area around the reactor, making it radioactive for centuries. Hope you've learned something today, and I'll see you next time.